Today, we'll be learning how to set up scoring for clients loaded into Cloud Radial. With scoring, you can assign custom point values to your clients via the services they're using from you. Generally speaking, it's used to understand which clients are your most valuable with a gamification system. Note that client scoring is not a client-facing feature and is available only to MSP partners. Since it's closely related to the planning functionality, be sure to review the two planner videos first. I've included a link to them in the description below. Start by navigating down to the Partner section on the left-hand side of the Feature Sets and clicking on Planner. You'll see Scoring is the second tab over from the right. This section pulls data directly from the Planner. You can see that the sections mirror the Planner closely. There's a Recommended, In Progress, and Installed section that should be pretty familiar to you. At a high level, you can get information of how many items are sitting within each category for each client. Now let's take a look at a use case for Scoring. To set scores efficiently, we'll start by heading over to Partner and the Content on the left-hand side of the Feature Sets. Now, we're going to locate the Sample Product Catalog under the Planner Items. Here it is. Let's click on one, like Office 365 as an example. Then, we'll navigate to Settings, the second tab on the right, and we'll find the third set of questions below, Client Scoring. It's currently set to zero, meaning that this service is worth zero points. I'll go ahead and mark it as 100 points. As a recurring service, Office 365 can be pretty important. Now I'll save it by clicking the Submit button at the bottom, and you'll see that the catalog service goes to Unpublished. Now let's score another service, like the Laptop Refresh, using the same method. I'll score this service lower, only 20 points. That's because it's not a recurring service like Office 365, so it's worth less to me. To use scoring effectively, you'll want to repeat this process with all of your planner items. I'll go ahead and publish these changes. Now let's head back to the planner under the Partner Feature Set. And we'll go back to scoring. And now let's take a look at an actual client underneath here. For example, Azurative. Clicking on the three dots is a quick way to go to the planner for this specific client. I'll move Office 365 here to Installed, as well as Laptop Refresh. I'll also move Conference Room Upgrade to the first quarter. If I so choose, I can also add a score to a brand new card created via the Add button at the top right. It's the same exact system. Click on Settings, and then assign it a score. Remember, doing it this way will only add this card and score to this specific client. Now let's head back over to the other tab. I'll go ahead and refresh this page, and we can now see that the things have changed. I have seven in my recommended, one in my in progress, two installed, and a score of 120. Using scoring is a good way to understand the value of your clients at a quick glance, as well as the opportunity you have in selling more services to them. Play with this feature to build a scoring system that makes sense for you while giving you supreme visibility.